Okay, welcome to this video tutorial for Active Inspire 1.5. This time we are looking at the Snap to Grid feature. Uh, very handy if you have a list of uh, objects or text that you want to line up. So on this page here, for example, we've got a whole lot of things that we've made and we would like to line them up or put them in a particular place. So click anywhere on the background and you can unclick this to show the grid. And there we have it. We can get rid of that later on. It's not going to stay a permanent feature of our, of our flip chart. And then we can right click anywhere on the background again. And we want to snap to grid. Now, as we move things around, they will jump to the nearest point on the grid to be positioned. And you'll see how that is jumping around and this is particularly useful if we want to align all this and we see how it jumps into the spot which means it makes it very easy for me to line up all the rest of these instructions for you on snapping to grid and we can leave a nice little box space in between each one now it will work with objects as well these will snap as you can see they'll jump to one the nearest point on the grid. Nice if you want to line up objects as well. Then we can right click and we can hide our grid. So it takes away our grid background and we can undo snap to grid and there we have a nicely aligned flip chart. Very simple. 